Pomeralia Latin, Pomeralia, German, Pomerelin, Pomerelin, also referred to as Eastern Pomerania Polish, Pomorzszony or as Danzig Pomerania Polish, Pomorzgdanski, is a historical region in northern Poland. Pomeralia lay on the southern shore of the Baltic Sea, west of the Vistula River and east of the Leba River. Its biggest city was Gdansk. Since 1999 the region has formed the core of the Pomeranian Voivodeship. Gdansk Pomerania is traditionally divided into Kashubia and Kosui. <laughs> Early history In its early history, the territory which later became known as Pomeralia was the site of the Pomeranian culture, also called the Pomeralian Facern culture, 650 to 150 BC, the Oksawi culture, 150 BC AD 1, associated with parts of the Rugi and Lemuvii, and the Wheelbark culture AD 1 to 450, associated with Venetia, Goths, Rugi, Gepids. In the mid-6th century Jordanus mentioned the Vistula estuary as the home of the Vidivari. Pomeralia was settled by West Slavic tribes in the 7th and 8th centuries. <laughs> as part of Poland In the 10th century, Pomeralia was already settled by Slavic Pomeranians. The area was conquered and incorporated into early medieval Poland either by Duke Mieszko I, the first historical Polish ruler, in the second half of the 10th century or even earlier, by his father, in the 940s or 950s, the date of incorporation is unknown. Mieszko founded Gdańsk to control the mouth of the Vistula between 970 and 980. According to Joseph Spores, despite some cultural differences the inhabitants of the whole of Pomerania had very close ties with residents of other Piast provinces, from which Pomeralia was separated by large stretches of woodlands and swamps. The Piasts introduced Christianity to pagan Pomeralia, though it is disputed to what extent the conversion materialized. In the 11th century the region had loosened its close connections with the Kingdom of Poland and subsequently for some years formed an independent duchy. Most scholars suggest that Pomeralia was still part of Poland during the reign of King Bolslaw I of Poland and his son Mieszko II Lambert. However, there are also different opinions e.g. Peter Oliver Lowe suggests the Slavs in Pomeralia severed their ties with the Piasts and reverted the Piasts' introduction of Christianity already in the first years of the 11th century. The exact date of separation is however unknown. It was suggested that the inhabitants of Pomeralia participated in the pagan reaction in Poland, actively supported Miklaw who intended to detach Masovia from the power of the rulers of Poland, but after the defeat of Miklaw in 1047 accepted the rule of Duke Casimir I the Restorer and that the province remained a part of Poland till the 1060s, when Pomeralian troops took part in the expedition of the Polish king Bolslaw II the Generous against Bohemia in 1061 or 1068. Duke Bolslaw suffered a defeat during the Siege of Radek and had to retreat to Poland. Soon after Pomeralia separated from his realm. A campaign by Piast Duke Vladislav I Hermann to conquer Pomeralia in 1090–91 was unsuccessful, but resulted in the burning of many Pomeralian forts during the retreat. In 1116 direct control over Pomeralia was re-established by Bolslaw III Rymouth of Poland, who by 1122 had also conquered the central and western parts of Pomerania. While the latter regions forming the Duchy of Pomerania regained independence quickly, Pomeralia remained within the Polish realm. It was administered by governors of a local dynasty, the Samborides, and subordinated to the bishopric of Wlocklawek. In 1138, following the death of Bolslaw III, Poland was fragmented into several semi-independent principalities. The principes in Pomeralia gradually gained more local power, evolving into semi-independent entities, much like other fragmented Polish territories, with the difference that the other parts of the realm were governed by Piast descendants of Bolslaw III. The Christian center became Oliver Abbey near Gdansk. Two Samborides administering Pomeralia in the 12th century are known by name, Sobislaw I and his son, Sambor I. Danish conquest and independence 
In 1210, King Valdemar II of Denmark invaded Pomerania, whose princeps Mestwini became his vassal. The Danish suzerainty did however not last long. Mestwin had already gained more independence from Poland and expanded southward, and his son Swiatopelk II, who succeeded him in 1217, gained full independence in 1227. Topic: <laughs> Duchy of Pomerania. After Mestwini's death, Pomerania was internally divided among his sons Swiatopelk II, Waterslaw, Sambor II and Ratibor. Swiatopelk II, who took his seat in Gdansk, assumed a leading position over his brothers, Sambor II, who received the Castellani of Lubiswo the center later moved to TCZEW, and Ratibor, who received the Bialagard area, were initially under his tutelage. The fourth brother, Waterslaw, took his seat in Suishi, thus controlling the second important area besides Gdansk. Waterslaw died before 27 December 1229, his share was to be given to Oliver Abbey by his brothers. The remaining brothers engaged in a civil war, Sambor II and Ratibor allied with the Teutonic Order and the Duke of Kuyavia against Swiatopelk, who in turn allied with the Old Prussians, took Ratibor prisoner and temporarily assumed control over the latter's share. The revolt of the Old Prussians against the Teutonic Order in 1242 took place in the context of these alliances. Peace was restored only in the Treaty of Christberg in 1249, mediated by the later Pope Urban IV, then Papal Legate and Archidiaconi of Lutich Liege. .In the west, the Pomeralian dukes claimed to the lands of Schlor and Stolp Slusk, where the last Ratiboride Duke Ratibor II had died after 1223, was challenged by the Griffin Dukes of Pomerania, Barnamai and Waterslaw III. In this conflict, Swiatopelk II initially won the upper hand, but could not force a final decision. Swiatopelk II, who styled himself Dux, since 1227, chartered the town of Gdansk with Lubeck law and invited the Dominican Order. His conflicts with the Teutonic Order, who had become his eastern neighbor in 1230, were settled in 1253 by exempting the order from the Vistula dues. With Swiatopelk II's death in 1266, the rule of his realm passed to his sons Waterslaw and Mestwin II. These brothers initiated another civil war, with Mestwin II allying with and pledging allegiance to the Brandenburg Margraves Treaty of Arnswald, Chosno 1269. The Margraves, who in the 1269 treaty also gained the land of Bialagard, were also supposed to help Mestwin II securing the lands of Schlor and Stolp Slusk, which after Swiatopelk II's death were in part taken over by Barnum III. With the Margraves' aid, Mestwin II succeeded in expelling Waterslaw from Gdansk in 1270 70 firsts. The lands of Schlor, Slorno however were taken over by Mestwinii's nephew Wislaw II, Prince of Rügen in 1269-70, who founded the town of Rügenwald near the fort of Derlo. In 1273 Mestwin found himself in open conflict against the Margraves who refused to remove their troops from Gdansk. Mestwin's possession, which he had been forced to temporarily lease to them during his struggles against Waterslaw and Sambor. Since the lease had now expired, through this action, the Margrave Conrad broke the Treaty of Arnswald, Chosno and subsequent agreements. His aim was to capture as much of Mestwin's Pomeralia as possible. Mestwin, unable to dislodge the Brandenburgian troops himself called in the aid of Bolslaw the Pious, whose troops took the city with a direct attack. The war against Brandenburg ended in 1273 with a treaty possibly signed at Drawno Bridge, in which Brandenburg returned Gdansk to Mestwin while he paid feudal homage to the Margraves for the lands of Schlor Slorno and Stolp Slusk. .On February 15, 1282, High Duke of Poland and Wilkopolska Promisel II and the Duke of Pomeralia Mestwin II, signed the Treaty of Kepno which transferred the suzerainty over Pomeralia to Promisel. As a result of the treaty the period of Pomeralian independence ended and the region was again part of Poland. Promisel adopted the title Dux Poloni et Pomerani Duke of Poland and Pomerania. Mestwin, per the agreement, retained de facto control over the province until his death in 1294, at which time Promisel, who was already the de jure ruler of the territory, took it under his direct rule. Polish rule 
After the death of Mestwin II of Pomerania in 1294, his co-ruler Promisel II of Poland, according to the Treaty of Kepno, took control over Pomerania. He was crowned as King of Poland in 1295, but ruled directly only over Pomerania and Greater Poland, while the rest of the country Silesia, Lesser Poland, Masovia was ruled by other Piasts. However, Promisel was murdered soon afterwards and succeeded by Vladislav I the Elbow High. Vladislav, sold his rights to the Duchy of Kraków to King Wenceslaus II of Bohemia in 1297 and accepted him as his suzerain in 1299. However he lost control of Greater Poland and Pomerania in 1300 after a nobility revolt. These were captured by Wenceslaus who now, after gaining most of the Polish lands, was crowned in Nizno as King of Poland by Archbishop Jakub Swinka upon the deaths of Wenceslaus and his successor Wenceslaus III and with them the extinction of the Premyslid dynasty, Pomerania was recaptured by Vladislav I the Elbow High in 1306. Pomerania as a part of the Teutonic Order State and Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth During Vladislav's rule, the Margraviate of Brandenburg staked its claim on the territory in 1308, leading Vladislav I the Elbow High to request assistance from the Teutonic Knights, who evicted the Brandenburgers but took the area for themselves, annexing and incorporating it into the Teutonic Order State in 1309 Teutonic takeover of Danzig Gdansk, and Treaty of Solden, Meislaborts. At the same time, Slusk and Slorno became part of the Duchy of Pomerania. This event caused a long-lasting dispute between Poland and the Teutonic Order over the control of Gdańsk Pomerania. It resulted in a series of Polish Teutonic Wars throughout 14th and 15th centuries. Pomerania was made part of Polish Royal Prussia as the Pomeranian Voivodeship in 1466. Lauenburg and Buto land was a Polish fief ruled by Pomeranian dukes. In early modern times Gdańsk was the biggest city of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and most of its exports especially grain were made through the port. Gdańsk and Zulawi Wislane were German, Dutch Lutheran or Reformed, while most of the region remained Polish, Kashubian Catholic. In the 17th century Pomerania was attacked and destroyed by a Swedish army. Pomerania as the western part of Prussia and Polish Corridor As part of Royal Prussia, Pomerania was annexed by the Kingdom of Prussia during the 18th century partitions of Poland, becoming part of the new province of West Prussia. After World War I the Treaty of Versailles transferred most of the region from Weimar Germany to the new Second Polish Republic, forming the Pomeranian Voivodeship Greater Pomerania as of 1938 in the so-called Polish Corridor. Gdańsk with Zulawi became the free city of Danzig. In 1939 Pomerania was occupied and illegally annexed by Nazi Germany, but in 1945 it returned to Poland, while Germans escaped and were expelled. After the war it has been roughly similar to Gdańsk Voivodeship, as well as the dioceses of Gdańsk and Pelplin. Population Starting in the High Middle Ages, Pomerania was settled with many German and Dutch settlers during the Ostsiedlung. German Pomeranians dominated in many towns, while in the rural areas the descendants of the Kashubians and Slavic Pomeranians dominated i.e. Koshiwiasi, and Borowiasi most of whom considered themselves Poles. The Vistula Delta was settled by the Vistula Germans after the Teutonic takeover of Danzig Gdansk, when many former inhabitants were murdered during the Gdansk massacre. During the period of partitions of Poland the number of German inhabitants rose, due to the German state's official policy of Germanization. This was halted after most of Pomerania formed a part of the reborn Polish state, when many clerks and officials as well as German military had left Pomerania. Following Nazi Germany's defeat in World War II, the remaining German population fled or was forcibly expelled. Settlement of Latvian-speaking Kursinieki along the coast of Baltic Sea extended into Pomerania, reaching the hinterlands of Gdansk in 1649. 
eventually Germanization as well as the events of the first half of the 20th century, including the Soviet and German occupations of the Baltic states and later East Prussia, led to the near extinction of the language, making it severely endangered. Several remaining native speakers still live in Germany, having been expelled in the ethnic cleansing that took place in East Prussia after World War II. Topic. See also Pomerania Kashubia Kursinieki History of Pomerania List of Pomeranian duchies and dukes Oladzi Zulawi Wislane